Could you say a bit more about using enactments, not to communicate online distilled emotion, but rather to evoke emotion? I love using enactments in the reverse order than we're typically taught them. We usually use enactments once the emotion is up and running. It's tango move three. You've done tango move two, you've assembled the emotion and you've deepened it. And then it's open, alive, online, as he says. And then you go for sharing it with the partner. When you're struggling to deepen emotion, what I've done is go for the enactment because it's very evocative to turn to your partner and see their eyes. Mm. And it can help draw out the emotion because when there's de-escalation, especially in stage two, when there's de-escalation and some growing depth of emotional experiencing, it can be incredibly evocative to see your partner's eyes and then to share even the stuck point of I'm having trouble accessing my fear. I'm having trouble accessing how small I feel in these worst moments we get caught in. And so I've tried all the things I can try. And then it's a little bit, sometimes when I teach about this, I say it's a little bit like my last resort intervention before zooming out, because I want to stay in there and I want to capitalize on the work we've done to be evocative and to get closer to their primary emotion, to make experiential contact with primary. But if I'm still not getting enough traction, then I'll have them turn and start an enactment without the emotion online as a way to evoke it and ask for the client to do that, to see what happens. It doesn't always work, but no harm, no foul. When it doesn't work, when it doesn't lead to more evoking or something else happens, the partner isn't open or the person you're asking to share isn't willing to do it. That's your next best place to work. And that probably is one of the blocks to getting more experiential traction. So it's all good regardless of whether it works or not. So if the client, if the partner is saying, I feel sad, but it's not alive on the inside, then you might say, can you turn to your partner and say, I feel sad. And that in itself might start to make it come alive. After I've evoked and after I've conjectured and after I wondered where the sadness is in the body and what's a sensation and an image and all the risk interventions that we use to heighten emotion, if I'm not getting any heightening or amplifying, then I will ask for an enactment because that can be very heightening or very evocative. So exactly what you're saying, Jen. Okay. That's great. Yeah, feel free to be flexible about the EFT interventions. How would it be to turn and see your partner's eyes right now? Right. Just that. Okay. Yeah. For more hot tips on emotionally focused therapy, go to theeftcafe.com and sign up for our newsletter where you will receive short little clips like the one you just watched.